So, uh, TJ, you have a top five? I do. What's your top five? Well, Jay Philly. What in the world is in that bag? What you got in yeah. that bag? All right. And hit that theme music. Kaboom. What do you got? Guess who stepped in the room? Listen, Rich, on Thursday, February the 8th, as you know, during NFL honors, the 2024 class will be inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Yes, sir. You'll be there, right? I will be there. So it, it kind of made me think, and I know MMA does this, when in, in addition to inducting individual fighters and, and people who contribute to the sport, they also induct individual fights. Okay. And that made me think, man. So I dug into the big-ass grab bag, and I decided I was going to give you five NFL games throughout history that I feel the Pro Football Hall of Fame should induct. So if they were inducting contests, games. Individual games, yes. These are the top five that I you would think induct. Th- these are five. That Playoff are, games are all time? Games, any. These are. Anytime uh, uh, there's uh, been a toe meeting football. Anytime, Rich. All right, have it. Copy of games. All right, so the first game I got starts in 1968. We look oh back a little bit. And it's the Heidi game. Where okay. Oakland Raiders beat the Jets 43 to 32. Now, 65 seconds left in the game. The Jets kick a field goal to go up 32 29 over the Raiders. The Jets kick off, and then the movie Heidi starts. <laughs> Just out of nowhere. Because NBC <laughs> decided that no matter what, at 7 p.m., they were going to start the movie <laughs> Heidi. <laughs> you imagine? And millions of Americans just assumed that the Jets won the game, which they did Same. not because the Raiders came back to oh, win. That's odd. So th- what that did is it changed a bunch of television rules. Now, that's, you know, you're not allowed to cut weird. away weird. from from games. And I know as a Jet fan, you probably wish that they You would've. weren't even alive yet, Rich. Yeah, so you can't really be too mad about it. But no, I think no, the just... Heidi game was just such a big <laughs> moment in football, especially with television. That I feel like that game should be remembered and inducted into okay. the Hall of Fame. Also... 1972, down 7-6 to six with 22 seconds left. Terry Bradshaw's pass intended for Frenchie Fuqua bounces off of Jack Tatum's helmet, and it's plucked out of the air by Franco Harris. He runs 60 yards for a touchdown, and so the immaculate reception is born. This was voted the most famous play in football history, if I'm not mistaken. It's and I feel that this game is very well deserved to be inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Okay. Next, we have 1975. Okay. When I closed my eyes and I I threw the ball, I said a Hail Mary, Roger Staubach. I think the Hail Mary game between the Cowboys and the Vikings deserves to be inducted just because that term has become so synonymous in the sports lexicon with football and hope and you're throwing a Hail Mary. And Dallas came back to win that game and almost kind of kickstart their dynasty, but they lost the Lex the next week. So whatever. But I think the, uh, the Hail Mary game. Also right. one of my least favorite games, 1982, the catch. This ended kind of Dallas's run. This started San Francisco's dynasty with the White Clark catching the pass in the back of the end zone as Joe Montana's rolling to his right with two tall Jones and half the defense of the Dallas Cowboys chasing him. He hits the White Clark, makes the catch. The dynasty is born. I think this game is worthy of being inducted. And lastly, Brockman, I think you'll like this 2001. Uh, let me just get this right. NFL rule number three, section 22, article two, note two. It's the tuck rule. It's the game that kicked off the Patriots dynasty. It's the game that kind of started Tom Brady on his route to becoming the greatest of all time. Patriots 16, Raiders 13 in that AFC division. I just feel like some of these games they had you know dynasty starting ends and i feel like these games are a good place to start but also i'm also interested to see what you guys have to say what games would you think okay would be worthy of being inducted it's called the, the snow game Hall? i mean that's you don't going, you know you, you, you new englanders call it the uh, well i'm not the not snow being game. from new england snow game. you know but <laughs> last game at old foxborough stadium i mean come on uh, that's that's right tom brady's first career playoff game wasn't it I think, didn't I think they, so. didn't Brady perform? Let me, hear, let me check that out. Let turn down the Okay, let's see what we got here. But I just feel like these games kind of like, kind of encompass the game, some big moments, some some terminology, the way yeah, they want television was the presented, week. the way sports on TV was presented was yep. changed forever by the Heidi. Um, yeah. I mean, that was an amazing game in the snow, too. I, I, oh, I remember man. it. Both kicks, so overtime and the one that... Diet. Right. Think about this, Chris. Think about uh, back in 2022. We're watching the Chiefs. That was Bills Brady's game, first right? career playoff game. 
We're watching the Chiefs Bills oh. playoff game where the scoring was going crazy. Imagine if at like seven o'clock CBS <laughs> decided to away. change the NCIS. And you're like, wait a minute, that's not Patrick Mahomes. That's Wilmer Valderrama. Like, what are we doing? <laughs> so, you know, that changed television and sports forever. By the so, way, Brady, Brady had a rushing touchdown in that game. By the way, Brady won the first 10 playoff games of his career. Yeah, is that good? He was almost on one, but started 10 and 0 instead. Yeah, big difference. Yeah. <laughs> Unbelievable. Great rule. Jeez. Great rule. It was, hey, <laughs> let me tell you something. What's kind of crazy, first of all, that they took a television, uh, they took a football game off the air to mm-hmm. make sure that everybody got to make to, to start Heidi on time. Yeah. Um, also, the how long would they have been uh, replaying that touchdown if re- instant replay existed, the immaculate reception? Oh, my God. Over. We'd still be going. I mean, right? we've seen that play so many uh, right. hundreds like of times. Like, you can't also, tell. You'd have to stay. It would have to stand as called. You can't tell if that ball hit yeah. the ground. Yeah, also, if that happened now, there'd be – I mean, we saw the this, the promo. How many cameras are going to be at the Super Bowl? That's like, right. Yeah. There were only four cameras yeah. at that right. game. <laughs> They've got six. Yeah. And I should have asked Jim about the upright cam. Upright. Damn. Doink, doink cam. It doink literally cam. took about 48 years for me to see a <laughs> shot of that play that I'd never in my life seen. Yeah. It was like somebody held on to this footage forever. Yeah. And it right. clearly shows Franco did catch it. All right. Welcome us to the airport. That, But that was a great game in itself. The snow yeah. game, Brady oh, versus yeah, Oakland, you know. Yeah. By oh the way, there's goodness. so many. I had 20 to chop down the list. I mean, there's so many games out there. You know, the Ice Bowl. There was a game that was literally called the greatest game yeah. ever played. You, you call know? it the snow game. Everyone else calls it the tuck game. Correct. Uh, Amy takes the the uh, the T off and puts the F game. <laughs> That's Amy Trask. <laughs> It Fair. is called WTF. Fair. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free. 